In this Maxmo Health video brought to you by Maven Asset Management, we're going to explore dashboards and actions. Dashboards and actions help us answer the third set of critical questions in Maxmo Health, what assets need the most attention and what actions I'm going to take. So let's go over to Maxmo Health and review this capability. To start our demonstration today on Maxmo Health dashboards and actions, first want to review some scoring features that we've demonstrated. We started our demonstration by bringing in a query from Maximo Manage that identified key assets on our production line that we wanted to measure. And once we did that, we also brought in some contributors or created some contributors using both the meter and formula functionality. If I bring up our asset that we are measuring again, our production lines, we then develop the scores, scores for health, criticality, and risk. If I open up any of those, you can see the individual contributors and the weights that we assigned. And some of these have been modified slightly so we can maximize what we're showing you here in the demonstration. And you could continue to review each one of those, again, my contributors and my weighting. But now what we want to show is after we've calculated our scores, we can go ahead and open up an individual asset like 131110 and I can see those scores shown in the tiles up here. As I scroll down, I can start to understand more details. If I look at my health score, I can see the individual score for each one of my contributors and its weighting. But I'll continue to scroll down here and I can also see the health history. If I want to change that and maybe look at one month, this gives me a very interesting view of my health score again for this asset. And I could analyze this in depth. I can mouse over to see the various points. And I can again notice noting that these are demo data. So we've put in some values to really show some of those peaks and valleys. As I open up the other information, I've got some asset timelines here. If I wanted to see right here, I had a failure that looked like that happened just towards the end of July. And as I mouse over that, look at all this great information. My failure class, I see the problem, the cause, the remedy. I could go ahead and see if I can hold that mouse over right, but I could view my analysis tree. This is fantastic information that is now available at the reliability engineer for the reliability engineer so they can really perform a, a deep down analysis. Here's my operational status of my meters, my maintenance history, bringing all those work order information from Maximo. Once I have this information, if I needed to take an action, this is where I'm going to do it. I can create a service request or a work order. I can also create a plan. A plan might be if I wanted to replace or refurbish my asset, or I can add a flag. In this case, I've already added a flag, but maybe there was another asset that I just wanted to keep an eye on. I could go ahead and do that. So there's fantastic capability here available within scoring, but now I want to draw your attention back up here to assets. We've looked at our assets in terms of rows and columns, which gives you great, great information, but it's still reliant on you to have to perform that analysis. So what Maximo Health does is it also provides a dashboard capability. So if I click over here on the chart, that's going to show me that same group of assets, but now it's giving me information that I can more quickly consume. I can go ahead here, click on this portion, um, see that I have two assets with poor health, 13180, 13144. I can open them up, and I'm going to see that same information that I saw, saw in scoring, but again, it's really helped me get there quicker. So now as I scroll down, you can see my health scores. I can navigate if I wanted to look at criticality or if I wanted to look at risk. Or if we wanted to look at something like end of life, I don't have an end of life score yet. So let me come back up here to health. Again, if I wanted to change this, let's make it a month and apply. Wow, what's going on with this asset? Again, those peaks and valleys, that's definitely something that I would want to investigate. And then my maintenance history and more. 
So there's so many capabilities available here with Maximo Health giving you these really fantastic dashboards and also so importantly when you select an asset you've identified that you now need to take an action you have that capability to go ahead and do it directly here in Asset Health. So thank you very much for your time as we've explored this functionality.